How's it going, people? Well, thought I'd give the brewskis a break and have something with glass. And it is Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm kind of an ignoramus about wine, so I think that's kind of a fruity wine. I know it's uh, I know it's supposed to go good with beef. That's about all I know. Or so I've been told. Uh. Anyway, it's been um, it's been a little while since I picked this book up. I have not read ahead. This will be a cold reading. I can remember a bit about Helaman, you know, and this whodunit. A really lame whodunit. And that was in the last couple of chapters. You know, I would like to make a quick announcement uh, for anyone who's listening. Uh, I have been getting the occasional private message uh, from Mormons who are butthurt about my videos. They don't get it. They want me to answer questions and stuff. Here's the way it goes, guys, folks. Excuse me. Leave a comment on the video, and I'll probably talk to you. But if you just want to call me names and tell me I'm dumb, and or just behave like you're incredulous, you know, just to cast at me, do it in the comment section where other people can read it. If you don't, from now on, I am probably going to start doing some screen captures and... And I'm going to share it with people anyway. Just saying. You can say what you want. Don't be so timid. <laughs> Let everyone read. Maybe somebody has got a great answer they could share with you. All right. Uh, chapter 10 of Helaman. Let's see what happens here. We'll read the masthead here. Nephi is confronted by the Lord. Wait, oh. Nephi is comforted by the Lord with promise of great power. I should give it to Lehi too, and they can have Wonder Twin powers. And activate it. He preaches repentance and warns the wicked of impending judgments. Sounds exciting. All right, I want to warn you folks, at a glance, because I highlight these, not a lot of drinks, it's a short chapter, but they're spaced uh, in a deadly configuration. So let's go, let's get started. One, and it came to pass. Hmm. Almost as yummy as the picture on the cover, on the bottom. Ah. That, there arose a division among the people in so much that they divided hither and thither and went their ways which means the same thing leaving Nephi alone as he was standing in the midst of them because you're a buzz killer Nephi <laughs> two and it came to pass <sighs> refreshing that Nephi went his way towards his own house pondering upon the things which the Lord had shown unto him three and it came to pass As he was thus pondering, being much cast down because of the wickedness of the people of the Nephites, change your name, Biot. <laughs> That'll learn them. 
Their secret works of darkness and their murderings and their plunderings. You could cut and paste some of these verses, you know, and just keep using them over and over. And all manner of iniquities. And it came to pass in the middle of the fucking verse. As, wait, yeah. As he was thus pon pondering in his heart. Oh, good, because I thought I was rereading this section. Behold, a voice came <laughs> unto him, saying, Oh, boy. For <sighs> blessed art thou, Nephi. For those things which thou hast done. For I have beheld how thou hast with unwearingness, unwearyingness, unwearingness, declared the word, a whole bunch of them actually. Which I have given unto thee, unto this people. And thou hast not feared them, and thou hast not sought thine own life, but hast sought my will. He likes that. And to keep my commandments. Fine. And now, because thou hast done this, with such unwearying, unwearyingness, behold, I will bless thee forever. Behold, wait, uh, forever, and I will make thee mighty in word and in deed. in faith and in works, yea, even that all according to thy word, for thou shalt not ask that which is contrary to my will. Then what's the point of praying? Thou, that's verse 10. Yeah, for thou shalt not ask that which is contrary to my will. And his will's been set down already. Unless it's his will for you to pray for some shit and then get it. So it's a really crazy, circular, loopity loop. I guess that's the way God's think, huh? Or the, that guy. Or gal. It. Six! Behold, thou art Nephi, in case you forgot, and I am God. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> oh. Behold, I declare it unto thee. In the presence of some mine angels, that ye shall have power over this people, and shall smite the earth with famine. If somebody had a power like that and they used it, they're fucking evil. And with Pestilence and destruction, according to the wickedness of this people, which can't be half as wicked. Seven. Behold, I give unto you power that whatsoever ye shall seal on earth shall be sealed in heaven. Stamp it. And whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. 
Well, fuck, you made him God, practically. So he's like an avatar before JC. <sighs> and thus shall ye have power among this people. Eight. And thus, if ye shall say unto this people, it shall be rent in twain, it shall be done. Damn. I'm afraid of you. Nine. And if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou cast down! And become smooth. It shall be done. Ten. And behold, if ye shall say that God shall smite this people, it shall come to pass. Starting that shit again. Life. <laughs> Eleven. Uh, and now behold, I command you that ye shall go and declare unto this people that thus saith the Lord God, who is the Almighty, and a little insecure. Except ye repent, ye shall be smitten, even unto destruction. Damn it. Twelve. And behold, now it came to pass. When the Lord had spoken these words unto Nephi, he did not stop and did not go unto his own house. Another one of those, oh, uh, now that you made a journey, stop, stop. Remember the shit going on in first Nephi? <laughs> Sorry, I'm remembering it. <laughs> Yeah, um, <laughs> he, uh, he did return unto the multitudes who were scattered about upon the face of the land and began to declare unto them the word of the Lord. And I'm sure they were grateful because they only heard it like a bazillion fucking times. But just in case somebody hasn't already heard it. If they haven't, they're fucking lucky. <laughs> and begin to declare unto them the word of the Lord, which has been spoken unto him, considering their destruction if they did not repent. Thirteen. Now, behold! Notwithstanding that great miracle which Nephi had done in telling them concerning the death of the chief judge, I remember that, clusterfuck, <laughs> they did hearken their hearts and did not, wait, they did harden their hearts and did not hearken unto the words of the Lord. You're going to get it. But I got to... God damn it. I hate these limits. I'm not done. Either I redo this shit, or I go to another video. See you in the next video.